everybody, Peach here, and today I'm going to teach you how to make your very own DIY wall-mounted chalk bowl. Now, why use chalk at all? Well, if you have confidence in your grip, you're going to have confidence in your lift. Now, fair warning, the confidence can get a little out of hand. Uh, bro, I was using that machine, that towel on the bench, that's mine. Hey, hurry up, bro. How many sets you got left? I'm losing my pump over here. Oh, it's like that, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma? No, get me the smooth peanut butter. The chunky gets stuck in my teeth. You're lucky I got a family emergency to deal with. Otherwise, I'd stay here and kick your ass. Yeah, so anyway, I was like, yo, bro, that's my towel. And he's like, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know. And I'm like, oh, really? Not good enough. Cha, cha, fada! It was awesome. Yeah, so anyway, how about I get your phone number? Uh,. Is he bothering you? One moment, my lady. Grandma. What? No. No, my Accutane should be covered under your insurance. The pharmacist said I'm too old. Oh, I'll be right there. All right, and now it's time for the best part of the video, the step-by-step -step DIY tutorial where we're gonna learn how to make this guy. Chalk bowl with storage hooks on the side and underneath, magnetic lid storage, and two large cup holders. All right, just a quick note before we get started. So today's design is geared toward the beginner with limited tools. So for those of you out there who are more advanced woodworkers, feel free to adapt this design using more advanced joinery methods. All right, now on with the show. Step number one, get a bowl. Now this bowl I stole from my kitchen. It's a standard mixing bowl. Maybe yours is the same size. Mine is approximately nine and three quarters inches from this edge to this edge. So if you have a different size bowl, of course you'll have to adapt today's design for your unique needs. All right, step number two. Now take that bowl and put it upside down on a piece of plywood. Okay, so we're gonna be using this bowl to determine how big a piece of plywood we need to cut. So we're gonna be framing it with two by three lumber, which I've already cut. And of course, I will put those dimensions on the screen right now. Okay. And this will yield a 13 0.75 inch by 13.75 inch piece of plywood, which I happen to have right here. All right, next step. Now we're going to take that piece of plywood and we're going to take a carpenter square and we are going to measure and mark the center line this way and the center line this way so that we know exactly where the center of this piece of plywood is. All right, next step. Now we're gonna center the bowl on the plywood. So, simply measure. 
on all four sides. And once all those measurements are the same, you know it's centered. So go ahead and mark it. Next step, now we're going to measure the lip of this bowl. And for me, it's a quarter inch, which means I'm going to mark a quarter inch from the edge where I traced around the bowl earlier, right there, quarter inch. Now we're going to take our compass and we're going to put the pointy end right in the center of the plywood. And we're going to put our pencil right on that mark we just made. And this is the hole that we are going to cut. All right, next step. Now, by all accounts, the best way to cut a circle is to use a circle jig with a router and the appropriate router bit. However, I'm assuming most of you are going to have easier access finding a jigsaw and a drill than all those things. Also, I broke my router yesterday. So this is what we're going to do. We are going to drill a hole at the edge of that circle, and then we're going to use our jigsaw through that hole and trace around that circle. Almost forgot. All right, all done. Now, is it perfect? No. Right there, I got a little, little uh, blemish. Um, but who cares? Guess what? The bowl, the lip of the bowl, is going to cover that up. So, no one will be the wiser. All right, next step. Now we're going to do some sanding on this guy and all those 2 by 3s So, throw on the PPE and get to sand it. All right, next step. Now it's time to glue and screw this thing together. Now I've already pre-drilled to prevent the wood from splitting, and I'm going to be using three inch long construction screws to affix the two by threes together and one and one quarter inch construction screws to affix the plywood to the base. All right. All right, next step. Now I need you to cut a 45 degree angle on two pieces of two by four so that you get these little triangles, okay? And now we are gonna affix these to the back of the unit. So pick which side is the prettiest and that'll be the front, okay? And this ugliest side, well that can be the back, okay? So we'll put these right here on the back. Okay, and again, glue. All right, and now we go paint. All right, next step, time to paint. Now, if you've been watching the channel for a while, you know I typically paint all my projects black. This time, I'm actually gonna paint it the same color as the wall on which I'm gonna hang this thing. So it kind of blends into the background of the wall. All right, so let's paint. All right, the paint is now dry and it came out looking great. And if you don't care for this shade of purple, well, to each their own. F you! All right, next step, now let's talk about lids. 
you're gonna want a lid for your chalk bowl so the chalk dust doesn't get blown all over your gym from wind, fans, etc. Now, I bought this lid from Goodwill and it fits my bowl perfectly. My only issue is I want to be able to put the lid somewhere so I always know where it is and I can easily return it back onto the bowl. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to use magnets. We're going to use magnets so that when you're using your bowl, you can just stick the lid to the bottom of the bowl and then return it onto the bowl when you're done getting all chalked up. Now, this lid and this bowl are both aluminum and magnets will not stick to aluminum. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to apply some JB Weld adhesive to the bottom of this bowl and I'm going to attach the magnets here. And then I'm going to use JB Weld and I'm going to attach a 7 8 inch washer to the lid. So let's mix it up, apply it, and let it dry. All right, now we're gonna let these dry and then we'll test it out. All right, so that JB Weld epoxy is now dry. So let's test out this magnetic solution. So we got the washer right there, we got the magnet right there, and will it stick? Of course it sticks. All right, it's not magic, it's magnets. All right, one last step before we can hang this thing up on the wall. Now we're gonna talk about customization. So this thing's essentially a shelf, right? So there's all kinds of things that you can do to customize it. However, rather than breaking down all those options here, just go to DIYFitnessClub.com for a list of ideas. Now, as far as the specific things I'm gonna personally be doing, check it out. Now, I added three one and a half inch cup hooks right here to the front. And this will afford me the opportunity to hang lifting straps, soft loop tie down straps, and any other kind of lightweight gym stuff, right? The second thing I did was I added these robe hooks, four of them, okay? And this will afford me the opportunity to hang heavier gym items such as lifting chains. And the third thing I did, and this is awesome, I installed these two stainless steel cup holders, okay? I love these things and they're big enough for a large coffee mug or a large blender bottle, okay? And of course, since it's gonna be chalk blowing around here, you're gonna to wanna to use cups with lids. And if you're like, I don't want cups with lids, I don't want anything. Well, you know, put cleaning products in them, you know? Keep your gym clean, whatever you gotta do. All right, now, all these accessories can be yours. Just go down to the Amazon affiliate link down below to pick up your own. All right, last step. Now we're gonna hang it on the wall. There's all kinds of methods to do this, so pick your own. Ideally, you're gonna to wanna to drill into a stud. I don't happen to have a stud where I'm gonna hang mine, so I'm using toggle bolts. All done. Now let's add some chalk. Awesome. All right, that was the DIY Chalk Bowl, a great addition to any home gym. Now, if you need any supplies to make this project or any other project, such as tools, magnets, hooks, bowls, cup holders, etc., please grab them via my affiliate links down in the description below. It costs you nothing extra and it helps support the channel. All right, that does it for this episode and I look forward to seeing you again in the next episode. So be sure to subscribe to the channel to be alerted the moment the next project drops.